sold out RBC Center in Raleigh, North Carolina in a matchup of two top 20 teams as the Eagles of Boston College take on the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Hi everyone with Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. The oncoming ACC tournament beginning to take some shape. And as we know, the top four teams get a first round bye. They get a first round bye. You look at Boston College, they could finish second or sixth. You don't want to finish sixth and you want to be on a little bit of a roll headed into the big tournament. Which takes us to this afternoon's game. Two teams with contrasting styles of play. North Carolina State is a team that really relies very heavily on the perimeter, Kevin. These guys are guys who can handle the ball very well and shoot the ball well. Engin Aksor, the young man from Turkey, is a very effective three-point shooter. Cameron Benerman, the most athletic among the North Carolina State players, and Tony Bethel. These guys can really put the ball in the basket, but for North Carolina State, it's balanced across the board, inside and outside as well. Five guys averaging in double figures. They play very, very well together. And while the Wolfpack loves to operate on the perimeter, the Eagles love to work inside. Well, I would would too if I had guys like they've got inside and Craig Smith and Jared Dudley they may have the best forward combination in the country Smith extremely athletic he does most of his damage around the basket 2,000 points a thousand rebounds for a career pretty good evidence that he's not bad and Jared Dudley this guy has a variety of different skills can handle the ball shoot a little bit from the printer and they play very well together a terrific game in the ACC Boston College at North Carolina State next on CBS Sports College Basketball Coverage is sponsored by Singular, Raising the Bar, Lexus, and their passionate pursuit of perfection, and by State Farm. For great service and great rates, nobody takes care of you like State Farm. The Boston College front line featuring a preseason All-America in Craig Smith and a guard who's a top five ACC assist man in Lewis Hinnett. For North Carolina State up front, Cedric Simmons, one of the top centers in the ACC, and the Wolfpack's leading scorer is Cameron Benerman. 43-year-old Herb Sendick is in his 10th season at North Carolina State. And with the win, Boston College coach Al Skinner becomes the winningest coach in B.C. basketball history. Boston College has started the same five players all 27 games this season. As you take a look at our officials, Mike Wood, Bernard Clinton, and Roger Ayers, North Carolina State returns four starters from last year. So, Dan, two veteran teams facing each other. Well, a lot of experience in North Carolina State. Of course, they're seniors in their final home game. This is a team that really shredded Boston College up in Massachusetts earlier this season. See what kind of adjustments Boston College has made. Up to Moss, nailing a three. And there, the, that's, that's that outside potential that we talked about before the game. Eftimoff, he's coming into this game off a little bit of an injury. And when North Carolina State can make threes, they're awfully tough to play. Man to man for the Wolfpack. Watch, watch, that, watch that Bennerman Dudley matchup. And there it is right there. They go inside to Craig Smith. And the rebound pulled down by the 6'8 senior from Bulgaria. We, you don't see Smith miss that shot, that kind of shot, too many times. Smith, we understand, suffering from some flu-like symptoms. So he may not be at 100%, but even at 15%, he usually makes that one. Now, if you're Boston College, one of the things that you want to do is try to make North Carolina State beat you off the dribble, not to let them stand and shoot. Great backdoor cut and great defense by Hinnick. And this will be a three, and Tony Bethel puts it down. He has the highest three-point shooting percentage in the ACC. Boy, a good start by North Carolina State. Boston College looks a little bit sluggish. Boston College has won five of six, and outside they get one to fly in. Sean Marshall, 
who has led Boston College in three-point shooting the last two seasons. And as much as Boston College emphasizes that inside game, they are at their best when they're getting some pretty hefty contributions from the perimeter, and Marshall is a guy who gives them a great threat out there. North Carolina State has won two and three coming into today. It's Simmons, a little shove, and that's a foul on Oates of uh, Boston College. And the first on him. Oates is a guy you talk about experienced players. Most of his starting experience is this year. Oates only a sophomore. North Carolina State lost to number 21. North Carolina here Wednesday by 24 points. It's a better three. Right off state. Here comes Boston College. They lost surprisingly at Virginia Tuesday by 14. Al Skinner not very happy with his team's performance at Virginia, but Virginia, one of those teams that plays so very well at home. Boston College just ran into a buzzsaw the other night, so both of these teams trying to recover from difficult losses. And this is the second meeting between these two teams this season. Oates from outside, pumps in a three. He is 6'10 and a sophomore from Harriman, New York. And that is Oates' 11th three-point basket of the year. He doesn't shoot a high percentage, but he's capable of knocking them down out there. But he has started every game this season and has really mixed in well with this group. And Hennett, who is guarding Bethel on the side, was involved in the defense, but Oates picks up his second personal foul. Well, Simmons is really a threat on the inside. As much as we talk about the perimeter game for North Carolina State, Simmons, one of the most improved players in the country, and Oates called just for being a little too physical there. North Carolina State beats Boston College back in early January by 18, and for Boston College, that was their worst loss to this point this season. They go inside, and a traveling violation is called on Benerman. After knocking down those first two three-point baskets, North Carolina State struggling a little bit on offense. Bennerman, we mentioned, a very athletic guy, about 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 can play inside fairly effectively. They like to post him up in there. You see Boston College, we talked about their inside game. And so far, the offense has been from three-point range. Sean Marshall, and knocked away by Bethel, the Georgetown transfer. And man defense for NC State. And Craig Smith all alone is Oates inside. So you got all these great stars for Boston College, but it's the sophomore, Oates, who is hurt from the most early. Now, just a great pass by Craig Smith. And Craig Smith's the guy who handles the ball so much, draws so much attention when he catches it, that if he has five or six assists, Boston College becomes very, very tough to beat. And Sewell, this is Simmons for two. That pull down by Jared Dudley, who's coming off a season-low six-point performance in that loss at Virginia. And Oates again. <laughs> what a great start. What a big start for Oates. You know, Boston College, you, you got to worry about Dudley. you got to worry about Smith. you got to worry about Marshall. So you play off of Oates a little bit, and Oates is killing him. He's gone 3-3. Three three. It's a 10-0 run by Boston College. They go inside to the sophomore, Simmons. And, Kevin, you will notice that no help for Oates on the inside. They're really worried. I mean, the Boston College Eagles, if they help down, that Simmons will pitch it back out for a three-point shot. So Oates is on his own in there. And that's a foul, and it's inside on the turnover. It's senior day in Raleigh for North Carolina State, but B.C. leads by two. alternative vehicle that's fuel efficient yet spacious that runs cleaner yet more powerfully introducing the world's first luxury hybrid the lexus rx 400h so honey if you were going to be with one of my friends who would it be tell me i'm not going to be mad i'm just curious i just want to know which one you think is the hottest danielle 
Look at that Abby. Introducing high endurance hair and body wash. Is it Paige? The first hair and body wash from Old Spice and the easiest way to get clean from head to toe. <sighs> Don't you wish everything was this easy? It's Paige, isn't it? What? You said we were going to be paying less. I'm State Farm Agent Demetrius Simon, and this is a true story. <sighs> Making ends meet is tough with a new baby. When another company kept promising to save us money on car insurance, we believed them. Guess what? We were charged more. A lot more. We switched back to State Farm because we've got an agent we can count on. Anybody can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. I think someone's had an accident. Ooh. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. If you're seriously depressed, there is nothing, repeat nothing, to be ashamed of. Please get treated. If you do, you can beat it, just as I did. CBS Cares. I got the power to move you. Singular salutes 1975 Naismith Trophy winner David Thompson. Text PLAY to 87654 for a chance to take the court with Naismith greats at the Final Four and take a shot at $5 million. The Boston College coach, 53-year-old Al Skinner, who is at Rhode Island and an A-10 coach there. From the Big East, he was the Big East Coach of the Year. Is now a win away from becoming the all-time winningest coach in the history of Boston College basketball. The guy who played some pro ball, played at the University of Massachusetts, and has had a wonderful run with the Eagles in Boston. He's had a wonderful run with the Eagles. You look, he's, all his assistant coaches are long-term assistant coaches. People talk about Al Skinner's unflappable demeanor obviously he knows what he's doing over there on the sideline as his teams consistently have been 20 game winners Akita McClain has come in and taken the place of Oates who picked up a third foul in fact it was a foul so intricate that our officiating crew had to go over during our commercial break and figure out looking at replay what the situation was and if indeed he was the guy so that's the change for Boston College and some changes now for the Look back, a long outside shot is no good by Gavin Grant, who comes in the game for the first time. They've also brought in Andrew Brackman. So those are the changes out of the break for both Boston College and North Carolina State. Each team is at a couple threes. NC State stays in the man-to-man -man defense. And oh, Craig Smith, what, what a, a great move shot. that is. I mean, to contort, and he looked like he was in back of the backboard. And it was over top of Cedric Simmons, who's the number two shot blocker in the ACC. Very difficult. <laughs> that little Brampton. Inside to Simmons, who is hounded by defenders. That's the open Bethel. Knocks down another three. His Kevin, second today. Kevin, do you remember the last time Simmons caught the ball? They didn't help out, and I said they don't want to help out because they don't want to give up the three. Well, that time they helped out. Simmons with a great pass outside. North Carolina State gets the three. They cashed in. It's the old rock in a hard place for the defense. What are you going to do? Pick your poison. And inside to Marshall. Brackman is right there, and that ball goes trickling out of bounds. And one of the things that Boston College does so well, Smith, you see, what a great stop. This guy is six feet seven, does a great job finding the open man, and then talk about finding the open man. Cedric Simmons surrounded, but nonetheless keeps his feet, doesn't walk, gets the ball outside for the three. So John Oates, who had seven points for Boston College, seven of their 12, there's a foul. That goes on Benerman. Oates is out with three fouls. That's another turnover for North Carolina State. And one of the things that North Carolina State, in games where they have struggled, one of the things that they've done poorly is in the turnover department. Can't turn the ball over there. Oates, you mentioned, a good start. He's sitting on the bench. Boston College has been to the NCAAs for the last five years. and won at least 19 games, six consecutive seasons. 21 wins already this year. They run that offense there so compactly, so close to the basket that every time they catch the ball, it seems like they're right at your throat. And Smith inside and finds Dudley. And Boston College has made six consecutive shots. Another really nice assist by Smith. When a big man can pass like that, it opens up and spreads the floor so much. 
Wonderful onside three again by Benerman, who's got a good stroke today. Boy, in the Boston College bench, the coaches are up saying, hey, guys, this is what we talked about. we got to get out there and guard him. You see Boston College doing a great job with their passing. Five assists in six baskets. That's a very impressive number. Marshall for three and defended on the play by Benerman. It was almost a foul. So that three right there. And now for Boston College, they've gone three of three above the arc. And Marshall, that's a really good sign for the Eagles that he gets off to such a good start. He struggled against Virginia, only had two points on Tuesday night. Brackman, the 6'10 sophomore for three. And Smith pulls down the rebound. And one of the things that you'll notice, North Carolina with that sort of, or State with that sort of perimeter style that they have, not a lot of offensive rebounding. That's been a weakness all season. Marshall inside and a foul. It goes on State. As he tried to work, Simmons will pick it up for the Wolfpack. We talked before the game about Smith's abilities on the inside. Well, they're right to see his passing ability. That was a perfect pass right over the head of the NC State defender. And then Marshall, he knocks down that jumper while he's going down. A very, very tough three. Now he's going to the line to shoot two. He's from Rialto, California. One of three California starters on this Boston College team. Visit CBS Sportsline tonight for a wrap-up of all today's sports action. Watch video highlights, get in-depth analysis from our team of experts. Only at CBSSportsline.com with Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan, in the RBC Center on Senior Day in beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina. Marshall again. He was one of the top high school players coming out of California for Boston College and Al Skinner. Suddenly, the Eagles, who have them found themselves down by 6-0 to start the game, have now built a five-point lead. The baseball pitcher, Brackman, with the ball. He'll be a starting pitcher tomorrow for the Wolfpack. Well, isn't that an amazing, a little amazing tidbit of information? And he's good, too. Nice drive inside by Gavin Grant, who is a sophomore from the Bronx, New York, at 6-7. See, now, the Boston College strategy was to try to make North Carolina State put it down and go to the basket, but you have to understand your personnel. Gavin Grant is better at putting it on the court and driving to the basket than he is at shooting the three. Marshall again, a little bit short. Caught a mid-flight by Gavin Grant. He played at the same high school in New York that Julius Hobbs did. Look at the drive inside. Boy, everything but the finish right there. You know, Marshall, it's a good thing that he's trying to be aggressive offensively, but I really think he'd like to have Smith and Dudley touch the ball. Dudley for three. And Grant in there fighting. Out rebounded inside by McLean, and here comes that sewer. Up to Maul. Oh, that's a great hand by Rice. Rice. Tyrese Rice, who goes winding his way down court. The rejection, then the follow inside by Marshall. And 10 for Marshall, leading all scores. Boy, and Marshall really aggressive on both ends of the court, really looking for that shot opportunity. That time he just hustled down the court. NC State had three guys back, but he beat him to the ball. Dudley is on Bracken. Three-point shot outside, <laughs> Tony Bethel, who's been terrific. With him as a starter, North Carolina State has gone 32 and 10 during his career. Well, there was a mismatch right there. That was Sean Williams, the 6'10 sophomore, out trying to guard Bethel. He stepped back so Bethel wouldn't drive by. Williams just came off the Al Skinner bench. Williams inside trying to ply his way in. And a state foul. It's Rice with the entry and Marshall with the finish and Boston College leads by two. You've got one on your team. They're gaming on me? Not a chance. Is it eSurance, one of the fastest growing auto insurance companies in America? You bet. Thousands of drivers switch to eSurance every week. So why does eSurance cruise past the competition? With some of the fastest quotes on the web, eSurance makes auto insurance easy. And you can print your insurance cards instantly. Quote by print. If you're on the go, you've got to have insurance. Get your fast, free auto insurance quote. Visit insurance.com today. 
Life doesn't stand still. That's why Lowe's has showroom quality kitchens at prices that fit your budget and the largest selection of appliances in stock. Best of all, Lowe's installation program includes project management teams that take you from start to finish for worry-free, on-time installation. All at a price you can afford. At Lowe's, improving home improvement never ends. Now get a free sink-based cabinet when you buy nine or more special order kitchen cabinets. Hey, check this out. Wow. That's a great design. That is nice. How about this one? Ooh, I like that. This is our latest. Cuts right through the air. I'll take it. Introducing the Mazda Speed 6. 274 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Some people just take performance a little more seriously than others. The Mazda Speed 6. Part of the exciting Mazda 6 lineup. 16 Blocks is a hard-to-beat thriller. Bruce Willis gives a great, gritty performance. Most deaf is a knockout. Time to go. 16 Blocks. A film by Richard Donner. The killer. <laughs> Rated PG-13 starts March 3rd. Men don't like to shave. They'd rather light their shorts on fire or eat dirt. Easy, fellas. Nivea soothes the pain of shaving. With moisturizers and vitamins, Nivea for Men aftershave balm soothes and improves. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. And Tuesday on CBS, don't miss the start Go. of the most exciting race yet. A new amazing race begins Tuesday on CBS, America's number one network, with Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan. Well, a loss, like we said, for North Carolina State earlier this week. They have not lost back-to-back -back games this season. And the last time they went the regular season without losing back-to-back, 73-74, -back, a guy named Dan Bonner was playing for Virginia against a guy named David Thompson for North Carolina State. Well, mainly watching David Thompson. <laughs> Watch, watching him soar Absolutely. over Dan Bonner. Right, here's John Williams at the free throw line. Boston College is led by as many as five. North Carolina State then is led by as many as six in the game. And it is a very interesting game. We talked about the inside power of Boston College, but Boston College has been relying primarily on the perimeter game. Williams from Houston, Texas, had the off-court problems last May, was suspended by the school, missed the first nine games of the season. And now he is back, and he's a great shot blocker and a guy with tremendous inside presence. Here's a three by Bethel. And a rebound pulled down by Jared Dudley, his third rebound this afternoon. Well, a lot of open three-point opportunities early in the game for North Carolina State. They're not going to make them all, obviously, but you make a fairly high percentage of those. It's tough to beat a team if you're scoring two and they're scoring three. Mm -hmm. Hit it, and Rice hit at the same time. Basically, two point guards for Boston College. Well, Rice is a guy who really gets some energy out there for Boston College. He's a deadly three-point shooter. Nice Reed pass. Smith to kick it out to hit it for three. And inside, Dudley climbing the ladder and climbing over the back. And that is a foul on Jared Dudley. He is the top 12 score in the ACC. And Dudley picks up the foul the first on him. And that bring back in Grant. That's a tough break for Dudley. He felt as if he went straight up in the air. That's what he's saying to the referee. But Cameron Bennerman had the inside position. NC State got murdered on the boards the other night by North Carolina. They have to do a better job blocking out. Nice move inside by Grant. A big spin move on Dunley as North Carolina State is playing with a couple of sophomores and three seniors on the floor. Again, Boston College elects not to help out, and there Eftimoff is going to pick up a foul against Sean Williams. That's a tough matchup. Williams at 6'10", Eftimoff only about 6'6". Now, a couple games ago, he strained a ligament in his left foot, and in his foot is a plastic mold. In his shoe is a plastic mold to protect that foot, and he is still, you know, riddled with pain but he's out here this afternoon well, let me ask you have you ever heard of the lefranc ligament before he has i haven't but he has <laughs> williams a screen and rice trying to get inside and picked up by grant lead pass to Pennerman and fouled on the play hard on the play by lewis hinnett 
And Vennerman a little bit slow to get out. Now, North Carolina State, they are not a team that plays slowly. They like to spread the court, but they really like to get out on the break when they can. Vennerman does a nice job collecting this ball. Oh, boy, Vennerman really may have pulled a groin muscle. Watch how he falls here, Kevin. His legs sort of split. Oh, boy. Well, they'll tell you, the players will tell you that he is the most athletic player on this very athletic North Carolina State team. But that's the kind of a thing that you, I mean, that, that can be a season ender right, right there if you come down like that and really pull that muscle. You've seen a lot of those, a lot of torn groins this season. So at the free throw line, the senior from Greensboro, Cameron Benerman, the number three free throw shooter in the ACC. And he shoots over 90% from the free throw line here at the RBC Center. And he's one of the five players that average in double figures, as you talked about at the top of the show. There's very little difference between the leading score and the number five score, but it shows you how balanced this team, the only team in the ACC with five in double figures. Well, only one of ten teams in the entire country wow. with five guys in double figures. Just makes it very hard to key on any one guy. Why don't everyone steer? And Hennett is there to defend. This is a three. Oh, on. Now, I'll tell you what, when some guy fouls you hard, the best way to answer that is to make two free throws and come down and hit a three, and Cameron Benjamin did that. Boston College had a 10-0 run, and North Carolina State has answered with a 7-0 run. Dudley inside, powering his way into Gavin Grant. Dudley is an extremely difficult matchup. He can play inside, he can play outside. This is Simmons in a straight jacket and jarred free. And here comes Rice, the sensational freshman from Richmond, Virginia. Dudley for three. Good! Wait, that's time three. That's exactly why he's so difficult to guard. It's just what we're talking about. Last time, he scores on a back-to-the-basket move. That time, he hits a three. Boston College has knocked down four threes, and North Carolina State has hit six. The leading scorer, Cameron Benjamin for North Carolina State with the big play moments ago. Gas meets electric. High performance meets low emissions. You can drive two cars or one without compromise. Introducing the luxury hybrid, the Lexus RX 400H. Gives more to the driver, takes less from the world. get a lot of people looking at your car then list it on autotrader.com more people go to autotrader.com to find a car than anywhere else that's why it's the ultimate automotive marketplace autotrader.com the smarter place to buy and sell a car how was your weekend davis Actually, sir, I spent most of mine here. I had an idea to hide bud lights all around the office, you know, give the employees a little morale booster. Hmm. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. I guess the savages didn't find all of them. Boston College number 13, North Carolina State number 14 in a game that has had three ties and three lead changes. You see the rebounding story. North Carolina State, not a very good rebounding team. North Carolina State is led by six. Dan and Boston College is led by as many as five. Cameron Bennerman has been terrific so far with eight. He leads the Wolfpack in ten points for Marshall, leading the Eagles. It's been a very interesting game. One of, I think, the key stats in the game is the fact that Craig Smith, Boston College leading scorer, only has two points in the game, but he has got five assists. There's Bennerman. 
you see he's knocked down both of his three-point field goals, and he's done a nice job defensively. And I'll tell you what, when you've got a guy who can shoot like he does, the steal, then he comes down and hits the three in transition. That can be a backbreaker. But Boston College responded to that basket with five straight points. But Craig Smith with five assists in the game, and Ed Cooley, the Boston College assistant coach, told me if Craig Smith gets five assists, they won't lose. He's got five already. They go inside, and Dudley rejected by Grant and kicks it back to Smith, and he'll bulldoze his way down low, and that is the North Carolina State foul. The Wolfpack didn't make any changes out of that break, and there was one substitution for Boston College. Marquez Haynes comes in, a good-looking freshman from Irving, Texas, as Simmons picks up his second foul for the Wolfpack, and now they'll make a quick change there. Ben McCauley will come in for Simmons. McCauley, a freshman from West Newton, Pennsylvania. And with Boston College's aggressiveness on the inside, you can see it once again. There's another foul. That's really a concern for North Carolina State, picking up fouls on the inside. Simmons is a guy that they have a very difficult time replacing, or I should say his skills are something that Herb Sendak just doesn't have anybody else who can do. This is the first season in the ACC for Boston College. A season ago, they finished 13 and three in the Big East. And Dudley at the line. Monday on CBS, the Predator is on the loose. Don't miss a new episode of CSI Miami. Monday on CBS, America's number one network. Like you said, the first season in the ACC. It's been kind of a bumpy ride. They began 0-3 in conference play. Well, I think they began 0-3 in conference play, but they really responded. They've, they've been 8-2 since then. And it was really the loss to North Carolina State with the team meeting just after that to kind of, they think, turn this oh, around. Pass. Go inside and now back out to Benham. Rebound by Smith, his second rebound. Dudley again, right past next tour. Boston College doing a great job pushing the ball up the court quickly and making plays in a transition situation before the Wolfpack can set the defense. Dudley in particular. Dudley has the last seven points for Boston College. You mentioned he's a tough matchup. <laughs> I guess the folks from North Carolina State would agree because they yeah, can't match up with it. Yeah, absolutely. Him off at shore. Becca had it, the five called on Hinnick. And that is the second on him. The guy who began with the bang was John Oates, a sophomore, but he quickly gathered three fouls. He's on the bench and has been since the you know, mid stages of this first half. Boston College with pretty good depth along the front line, though. They can bring in Sean Williams and Akita McLean, and here Rice comes back in the game for him. So. Boston College a team with enough depth that they can cause you some problems. And it will take a breather. So now you've got point guard Marquez Haynes. You've got point guard Rice. And that's kind of the way they've been working a lot of this afternoon. But those interchangeable parts in the Boston College backfield. Betterman. Oh, my. <laughs> I mean, Boston College said they wanted to make him shoot off the dribble. That was one dribble straight up for a shot with a guy in his face and knocking it down. What an impressive shot that was. Last year in the Sweet 16 run, Benjamin was the best player on this team, certainly the leading scorer. That is a three, Rice launching. That sore rebounding, and the other way comes the Wolfpack. Benjamin again, right down the lane and picked up inside by McCauley. Look at the diving senior Benjamin. It's back to Boston College. Kevin, North Carolina State has missed a couple plays close to the basket in this game. They have been tough plays, but against this Boston College team, if you're going to get the ball that close to the goal, you really have to be able to score. McCauley does not have a lot of minutes for North Carolina State this year. Remember, he's in the game because Simmons is in foul trouble. Both teams shooting the ball very well. And I don't think it's poor defense. I think they're just playing well offensively. Both teams over 50%. Smith inside into Brackman. That is a foul. Whether it's Brackman or not, it's hard to say. They were both down there, and I think they're going to put it on McCauley, who is the freshman. He picks up number one. 
Herb Sendek wants to know why it wasn't a charge, but Smith is a guy who works very hard without the basketball, gets in good position. Brackman needs to make it harder for him to get there. McCauley comes over to help. And picks up the foul. Greg Smith, a 6'7 senior from Los Angeles. He was a preseason All-America, as you mentioned, with J.J. Redick and Morrison and Dee Brown of Illinois and Sheldon Williams of Duke. This guy was right there with them. He is a two-time Big East first-team selection. You know, his numbers are fantastic. You can see there are 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds. He's eighth all-time in steals at Boston College. But these three seniors from North Carolina State who have been so impressive throughout their careers, been to the in-state tournament every year, they have combined for 2,000 points and almost 1,000 rebounds. Craig Smith by himself has reached those numbers, and he makes that free throw. Smith has three. He's coming off a 22.9 rebound game against Virginia earlier this week is Craig Smith. The call. Three feet inside. It goes off to Betterman. And now Betterman has scored the last 10 North Carolina State points. Boy, and you look at the expression on Al Skinner's face as we watch him standing on the sideline. It's like, hey, how can we not find number 13? You know, we need to guard him if we're guarding anybody. He's tireless, though. He's always moving around. It's Smith. And they quickly double him. So it's out to Rice, who works on Betterman and gets the floater to drop. Well, he is so good with that floater down in the lane. Betterman has a couple of inches on him, but Rice is able to float it up anyway. And McCall, who's got nice moves on the block, as you see right there, Dancing. And picked up by Brunton. Boy, McCauley has gotten close a couple of times, but he hasn't been able to convert. And Brackman, better known for his fastball than his offensive rebounding, came in there. I think that might be the first offensive rebound basket of the game for the Wolfpack. In the throws of our fifth tie this afternoon. Smith, who looks more like a tight end in football. Inside working, Brackman with the rebound. At Soar, Beckel for three. And Dudley vacuums it in. He's got five rebounds. He's one of the top rebounders on this Boston College team. Marshall. He's got ten, but missing right there. Blackman just sheds the defense. Boy, what a great battle by Blackman in there. He just ripped that ball away from Dudley. North Carolina State in second place in the ACC. Boston College is in fourth place in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Betterman. Back on a foul. John Rice. Number 13 against number 14. It's a beauty on Tobacco Road on CBS. Hey, check this out. Wow. That's a great design. That is nice. How about this one? Ooh, I like that. This is our latest. Cuts right through the air. I'll take it. Stop, so. Introducing the Mazda Speed 6. 274 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Some people just take performance a little more seriously than others. The Mazda Speed 6. Part of the exciting Mazda 6 lineup. There sure are a lot of brownie bits in this sweetheart brownie blast. Do you mean bits or bites? Either one. There's a big difference between bits and bytes. Bits refers to the binary number system. There are eight bits in a byte, so I think there is a big difference between bits and bytes. Brownie bytes would be, like, huge because there would be eight brownie bits in a brownie bite. <laughs> That's awesome. Sweetheart Brownie Blast, new at Sonic. The taste of chocolate brownies and cherries blended into a creamy frozen treat. And now swipe a credit or my Sonic card from your car, only at Sonic. Incredibly thin, yet impossible to miss. Introducing Sliver. The newest phone with iTunes. Ultra sleek and even thinner than the Razor. Only from Singular. Raising the bar. Monday, when Bruce Willis is on Dave. You really look ridiculous. Thanks, Dave. You never know. I'm like a chick magnet with this. What to expect? Don't miss what Bruce does next. All new Monday. 
text play to 87654 for a chance to take the court with Naismith Greats at the Final Four and take a shot for $5 million. With Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan in Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, Boston College and North Carolina State are tied at 33. And we talked at the beginning of the broadcast about the inside presence of Boston College, and that really is the bread and butter. And you knew, Dan, sooner or later, Boston College would have to start making shots from outside. Well, that's exactly what they've done today. One of the things that Boston College struggled with in their loss at Virginia on Tuesday night was that they didn't make any shots from the outside. And if you're going to have inside presence, and they certainly do, you've got to get the ball to go in from the outside a little bit so it loosens up the defense inside. And Boston College, I think, has done a very nice job in this game, mixing it up. Craig Smith, we mentioned, he's got five assists in the game. Haynes has been taken out by Boston College, and they have put in Akita McLean for the Eagles. Rebound by Smith. They've had a couple of sizable runs in this game. Boston College early on went on a 10 0 run, countered by a 7 0 run by North Carolina State. All teams continue to shoot over 50% from the field. Only one rebound difference. Michael on Rice. Smith with a good looking rebound and muscles one up for two. What power in there. He did a great job, guys, bouncing him around, maintaining his pivot foot, ripped that ball away and stuck it back in the goal. Grant and Benjamin. F to Mark. Three pass inside to Benjamin. Rejected, and a good one it was inside by McLean, the sophomore from Pittsburgh. Smith to McLean. Another turnover in the game. Third for Boston College, and North Carolina State has turned it over five times. Way off on Benjamin's three, and a rebound by Marshall. Boy, that was a long, long shot. I don't think Bennerman realized that he didn't have anybody anywhere in the neighborhood. He got he could have gotten himself much closer to the basket. Would you like to see more patience with their offense? No, absolutely not. I think you get down and you get the shots. Boston College, once they get set on defense, they can make it pretty tough on you. So if you have an open shot, that's fine. That's a good point. But if you can get an open 20-footer, there's no reason to take an open 26-footer. Rice for three. And the co high school player of the year in the state of Virginia. Tyrese Rice missing that right there. But he's seen a lot of minutes in this first half. Tap. It was inside, and it was <laughs> caught on the play by Ben McCauley. And McCauley wide open. You see, he's like shot it over his head. He wanted to get it up there quickly. Grant lasered it in. And McCauley has given North Carolina State some valuable minutes here with Simmons on the bench in foul trouble. Most minutes McCauley has seen in any one ACC game this season has only been 15 minutes. This is a good matchup right here. Dudley against Green. Dudley tried to lean in. Marshall cleans it up, and Marshall leads all Eagles scores with 12. A game high 13 by Betterman of North Carolina State. A terrific matchup between Boston College and North Carolina State. Timeout. your uniform will ever be retired but maybe it should be TIA CREF serving the retirement needs of those in the academic medical cultural and research fields visit us online to find out how we can serve you TIA CREF financial services for the greater good Coming up on the singular at the half, join Greg Gumbel and Seth Davis for all the scores and highlights. Plus, they'll preview the Villanova-UConn matchup and have a singular Naismith watch update. It's all coming up on singular at the half with Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan, and Raleigh rebounding his sound in a score here the last couple minutes of this game. Boston College has gotten a couple of offensive rebounds in the last few possessions. That's something North Carolina State did a pretty good job preventing. And to Maul to McCollum. And Sean Williams cradles the ball. Collie's had a little bit of a problem finishing those baskets on the inside, and since we're so late in the half, there's the timeout by Boston College. 
And now State Farm brings you the drive to 65. North Carolina State battled second seeded Connecticut last year's second round. UConn battled back from an 11-point deficit to tie. Julius Hodges, three-point play with four seconds left, gave State the lead for good as the Wolfpack advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 89 with a 65-62 win. You yep. see North Carolina State, you take a look. This is the kind of team you can see their capabilities. Four wins against top 50 teams, 24 in the RPI. They could make another deep drive in this tournament. That was the drive to 65 presented by State Farm. He was the most dominant figure at North Carolina State the last four years. The ACC Player of the Year, Julius Hodge, a great pickup for Coach Herb Sendick. He said, if we've got one heartbeat, he was the heart. And that timeout by Boston College was just the use it or lose it timeout that coaches have in the first half. The Eagles going to try to get the last shot. And we're down to 13 seconds to finish off this first half, which has been terrific. Is Reese picked up on the play? Rice rather picked up on the play by Bethel. Boy, and that was Marshall trying to get open, knocked down at Sewer. And so now 4.7 seconds is plenty of time for North Carolina State to get down and get the final shot of the half. That was good defense by Engen at Sewer. And Eftimoff is lobbying to have the ball out near half court. Lots of time. And Bethel will take it. Rice is defending. And it was blocked. And Boston College will take a two-point lead to halftime. When leading at halftime this year, Boston College is 17-1. and one. That's the end of the first half. Right now, we take you to Greg in New York for Singular at the half. Thank you, Kevin. Coming up on Singular at the half, Seth Davis and I will get you caught up on today's scores and highlights, and we will look ahead to tomorrow's big Villanova-UConn rematch. That comes your way right after this. Take a look at our Cisco first half statistics here in Raleigh between Boston College and North Carolina State. And you can see from the statistics, Kevin, I think a very well played game. Not many turnovers. Boston College started to assert itself on the boards at the end of the half, and I thought that was important. You began our broadcast today talking about the nice balance of North Carolina State's shooting and scoring. Yeah, and I think that Boston College has done a nice job disrupting that balance. Engen Atzer hasn't scored. Cedric Simmons only has two points, but keep in mind, Simmons only had one point in the first half in the previous game against Boston College. And I look at the numbers, too. North Carolina State's number one in the ACC in defending the outside shot, but Boston College has had success there. One of the most impressive things about Boston College in the first half is that their offense has been so well balanced. Oates, who does not usually a big score, has seven points in the first half. They've done it with outside shooting. They've been able to do it right there, as you see in transition. Marshall has really been a big factor. He's knocked down a couple of long shots with 12 points, and Dudley has been a big factor as well. He has nine points and five rebounds in the first half. And so we'll start our second half with North Carolina State at 21 and 6 and in conference 10 and 4. And that 10 and 4 ACC record good for second place. And back of Duke and just a half game on top of North Carolina, which will play tomorrow. Boston College is in fourth place in the ACC with a conference record of 8 and 5. But remember, Boston College began the conference record in their first year in the ACC at 0 and 3. Dudley, Swarm, Marshall, Hinnick for three. What a way to begin the second half. And North Carolina State swarming on the inside. That looks like the way North Carolina State likes to play offensively. The defense collapses. You pitch it out for a three. And Boston College, remember, they shot 32% from the field against North Carolina State in the first game. This time they're over 60. And Bethel for three. Marshall a little bit off in his defense, and Simmons is back in starting the second half for State, although he's got a couple of fouls already. And you talked about, Kevin, how Boston College started in the ACC. Maybe a little bit of an adjustment. Well, I think they've adjusted pretty well. Eight and two in their last ten conference games. 
North Carolina State has won seven of nine. Here's a three-point shot by Eptomoff, and he puts it down. Eptomoff is the number 32 all-time scorer, number one in the history of three-pointers made in this program. And it picked up by Tony Bethel. Here's Sean Marshall at 10 early points and a good feed inside to Jared Dudley. Twice now. Penetration off the dribble by Boston College has resulted in an easy basket. And North Carolina State has to tighten up on the defensive end. John Oates begins the second half for Boston College. He had seven early points, but three early fouls. Set on the bench a good deal of that first half. Eftemov, again, you mentioned early in the game, bothered by that ligament sprain in the foot. And he scored a basket and had an assist here at the start of the second half. Boston College has won 10 of their last 12 overall. And Hennett, who shot a three to begin the second half, puts in another, even though Bethel gave him a little bit of a check and hit the deck hard. Well, we talked about North Carolina State picking it up on the defensive end. That was pretty good defense. It was just a great shot. And so now sometimes your team, if the other team's scoring effectively, you have to stay in the game with your offense, and that's the situation North Carolina State is in right here. But Hennett, who did not even score in the first half, has six early second-half points for Boston College. Look at Simmons. Great work screw move. Hennett making his 114th start in the Boston College program today. Working on Bethel. Feeding off to Smith. Again, another three. Hennett with the fan. And picked up by Eftemoff. Now remember, Atzer has not scored in this game. And he's averaging in double digits. Look at Simmons again. Working hard inside and fouled. Dudley got him, and Dudley picks up the Eagle foul. One of the things that North Carolina State must have talked about at halftime was getting the ball into Cedric Simmons. Now, I'm sure they didn't have such a spectacular pass in mind that way, but now Simmons nearly lost the ball inside, and then with the great pivot move to drop it in on the little turnaround shot. This is a guy, remember, he had one point in the first half in the first game against Boston College, scored 16 in the second half. He only had two points in the first half today. And now he's got five in the second half, the opportunity to get another one. Boy, has he improved his free throw shooting from last season to this and his scoring as well. And it's not just his shooting, but all of his all-around game. Of course, he's getting many more minutes this year, but you can see uh, four times as many points and much better from the shooting the ball from the field. This is a young man who has worked very, very hard on his game and has made himself an excellent basketball player. One of the most improved players, not only in the ACC, but in the country. They have changed the foul, and it just was put on John Oates. And Oates has picked up his fourth personal foul. They conferred, they changed it from Dudley to Oates. So Oates is back on the bench for Boston College. And in his place, they brought in Sean Williams. In it. And Marshall over Simmons. And now they got a three-on-two led by Bennerman. And a little high for Simmons. Well, a little high, high, but Simmons did a great job controlling that basketball. Very athletic. And they're looking for Simmons again. Eftemoff. And they got Simmons. Nice rejection by Sean Williams and the lead to Marco at the other end. That was such a great pass from Eftemoff to Simmons that Simmons didn't even know it was coming. And that's why he was a little bit slow getting it up on the board, allowing Boston College to block it. What about the block by Sean Williams, who set a freshman record for block shots last year for Boston College. He's now got three today, and a big time three-point shot outside by Eftemoff, playing with a bad foot in his senior season, his 127th game today in this program. And after he made that three, I think he had something to say to Boston College's Craig Smith. Keep in mind that NC State has not lost a game this year when they have made more than eight three-point baskets, and that was number nine. 
And it's him off his three of three. Great pass inside Williams. Caught it and foul. It's getting a little chippy now inside the RBC Center. We're tied at 47. Chevy builds the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. From compact pickups to full-size SUVs. Find out more. Go to Edmunds.com and click head-to-head. -head. Chevy, an American revolution. How's the business? We got new cars for our execs. What do you got? We've got a secure network. We don't have to commute. Check. Company barbecues? Secure network. We co-mingle 24-7. Yoga. Stress reduction. Secure network. No stress. Check. Espresso bar. Checkmate. Check. Confidence. Powered by Cisco. Chevy Silverado has more standard payload and towing capacity than Ford F-150. And now, Silverado starts over $2,000 less than Ford F-150. Chevy, America's number one brand, America's number one value. The new Amazing Race takes teams of two further than they've ever gone before. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Premieres Tuesday after NCIS. CBS Sports and Coca-Cola show how fans started up. You want to go in? Bam, Kelly! I was the first African-American basketball player to come to LSU. My oldest son played. My youngest son is playing now. That's my old locker right here. He'd be at all the games. I used to look at him every time I made a play. We just kind of had an understanding of what needed to be done. It's very exhilarating to see your sons participate. I'm Carlos Temple, and I love college basketball. Today's game will select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevy will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. And one of the big factors in the second half for NC State has been Elian Eftimov. This is his second three of the game. And watch after he makes the three. He's going to have something to say. And look at the expression on his face. That is tremendous intensity. And that's exactly the way North Carolina State needs to play in the second half. Eftimov goes two threes, also has an assist. He hasn't practiced all week because of the sore foot, so coming out and starting today has been terrific and a great emotional lift for the Wolfpack. Uh, but that's what a guy wants to do. If you're a senior college basketball player, that's your ideal, where you don't have to practice, you just get to play in the game. Sean Williams at the free throw line for Boston College, and inside that left shoe there is a mold of his foot to keep it sturdy, but he's got a ligament tear in there, and it's been very painful. Williams again. Boy, Simmons another rebound. Simmons and Eftemont really come out here and asserted themselves early in the second half. Boston College has had a couple leads today. Right now, a point. The biggest lead has been five. North Carolina State is led by as many as six, and there is a foul inside on BC. It goes on Sean Williams. And that is the second time in this game that... Al Skinner's guys have really pushed Ingen Atsur out of the way. Atsur, I guess he's a little guy. I think they can hit him. Oh, nice block. The third today by Williams. They get four. Number four right there. This is so quick by Williams. Atsur doesn't, you know, he's not slow with the shot, but Williams gets out there and gets it so quick. That'll make you think a little bit. <laughs> Here's Benerman, who leads all scores. North Carolina State with 13. Look at the slash and move inside, and Williams grabs the loose ball. That's a couple of times today now that North Carolina State has not been able to finish going at the basket. You saw the shooting numbers for Boston College, Kevin. Just It's very, very difficult to 
gets anything going if the other team is going to shoot the ball too well. Nice speed on top, and it came from Frank Smith to the high flying Sean Williams. Williams has really been a factor in the game today, and Smith has not been as big a factor scoring, but he's now got six assists in the game. It's been terrific. Left him off inside for Betterman. Frank snaps it to Bethel. And that is out of bounds. A wild, oh, it was deflected. It's North Carolina State's ball. Boy, what a pass. What a pass right there. When Smith, part of the problem for Smith is, for North Carolina State, is Smith had all day to look at that. No pressure on the ball. Simmons was trying to play back in the lane. That's just great vision by Craig Smith to find the open guy. Sure got a Simmons screen. And back inside to Simmons and knocked away by Smith. And here comes in it of the Eagles. Smith wide open to three. Marshall fights for it and picked up by Dudley, who is fouled inside. A very aggressive group from Boston College this afternoon. And the foul goes on Venerman for the third time. So here's Dudley at the stripe. One of the more consistent players all season long. He leads Boston College, by the way, as Jared Dudley from San Diego. And three throws attempted in May. Monday on the Late Show, Dave's All New with Bruce Willis, plus music from The Strokes. Dave's All New all this week on CBS. Who's seen some pretty good stroke in here this afternoon? <laughs> Great shooting, 54% by BC, including six threes. 46% shooting by North Carolina State. They've hit nine above the arc. Dudley with the offensive rebound. And Boston College there, get a couple here, a couple there. Those offensive rebounds are starting to add up. Dudley now trying to post up against Bethel. Dudley inside in a sprint jacket and a foul. And it goes on North Carolina State. And I think Brackman, he did, picked it up. Well, Brackman gets the foul coming over the help, but here is Dudley right here. Dudley matched up against Tony Bethel. Dudley's got about four or five inches in that matchup, but Dudley can be so effective when he's down on the inside with advantage. And Grant is in, and Grant was just fouled by Boston College and Sean Williams. Gavin Grant is taking the place of Benerman. Williams picks up his second personal foul. Kevin, you know, lots of times in basketball games, we talk about teams exerting defensive pressure. Well, Boston College in this game is exerting offensive pressure against North Carolina State. BC has been so efficient offensively, it really forces North Carolina State to be just as efficient to stay in the game, and that's a hard thing to do. Absolutely. Both teams coming off losses into this afternoon's game. Eftemar over Smith. Another rebound going for Boston College, and now they are plus six in rebounding, as they have been. They've had that cushion for a good part of the game. And NC State stays in the man-to-man -man defense. Oh! Williams was feeding, and Dudley was cutting, and the ball is out of bounds, and a turnover for Boston College, their seventh. And North Carolina State has turned it over six times today. You can see that look on Al Skinner's face. Cedric Simmons and Cameron Benerman coming back into the game for NC State. But Al Skinner right in front of him. That's, you don't want to make a mistake right in front of your coach. But Craig Smith called for the ball, didn't get it, and thought, okay, if I'm not going to get it, I'll cut through. And then Williams threw it to him after he left. Bethel and Eftimov have checked out for North Carolina State. Not, yeah. ma not many turnovers in the game, though, Kevin. No. Single digits for both teams. Boston College in the man-to-man. Bracken, -man. one of the great high school players coming out of Ohio. Shot clock is down to five. One of the few times it's gotten in single digits today. And Sewell with the miss. Offensive rebound by Simmons. And Benerman with the wiggle in the drive and a foul. Great game with Boston College up by four. Our coverage of NCAA men's basketball continues after a word from your local station. Introducing the all-new 2007 Chevy Tahoe with available features like a power remote lift gate. Power release fold and tumble second row seats.
rear view camera system. Chevy Tahoe, an American revolution. Raving. There's never been a party like it. I knew I should have bought a phone. What? It's laugh out loud funny. Dave Chappelle is a comic genius. Dave Chappelle's Block Party. Rated I. Only in theaters Friday. A real meal on a weeknight? What a shocker. Get your meal started with a 10-piece bucket of world-famous Kentucky Fried Chicken. Any flavor, only $8.99. And try our new stuffed pot pie sandwich for $1.99. Bring back dinner at KFC. It's the President's Day event at your local Ford dealer, which means you better get here fast. Because the best-selling trucks for 29 straight years now come with great savings. Like the built Ford Tough F-150. Now with up to $3,500 total rebates. And now during the President's Day event, buy or lease and we'll even pay your first month's payment. That's up to $3,500 and your first month's payment. But hurry, the President's Day event ends February 28th. See your local Ford dealer today. Lisa Hughes reports live from New Orleans, Monday at 6 and 11. There is only one more week remaining in ACC regular season play, so the ACC tournament taking shape. The top four seats getting a first round bye. I think it leads you to a pretty uh, important clue about how important this NC State Boston College game is. North Carolina State has their best home record in seven years. Boston College has not beaten a nationally ranked team this season. Oh, and four. Crackman outside after that break with the miss. Picked up by Sean Williams of BC. And Kevin, we've gone from a point in this game where it seemed like each team was scoring every time down the court, and now we're in a little bit of a scoring drought. We've been stuck on this 51-47 to for a while. They got Williams again, whacking his way off that baseline, and a foul once again as he's shoved by Brackman, and Brackman picks up his second personal foul. You know, to, to build upon your point, North Carolina State has been scoreless almost the last four minutes of this game. And Williams, so you get a look going to the free throw line once again. Boston College has done a nice job setting screens for him so that he can go fly into the basket. We saw earlier a nice pass from Craig Smith. He was able to dunk it. That time he got fouled. So, so take me inside the mind of Al Skinner and this Boston College team. New conference. They begin 0-3 after being co-champs of the Big East last year. How do they maneuver out of that hole, that 0-3 beginning? Well, I think it helps to maneuver out of that hole to have a guy who is completely imperturbable, and that is Al Skinner. And the other thing, I think it helps to have guys with a lot of experience. The one thing that the Boston College players have said is last year they started 20-0, and and they went out in the second round of the NCAA tournament. This year, maybe they didn't start quite as quickly, but they have an opportunity to finish better. And peaking at the right time. Brent Dudley's on him. Across the lane and outside. That's a three. Up to mark the miss. The push in by Grant. Very athletic, very solid player. All New York City selection when he played in the Bronx. Now, North Carolina State has to tighten up on the defensive end of the court. And this is a situation with a lead. Boston College can just grind you down with this offense. Boston College is plus six points in the paint. Eptimoff knocked it away. It ricochets off a foot. It's loose. The shot clock is at eight. Here comes the low. Oh, that's just not an over and back because well, that did. ball went off the foot. I thought it went off the foot of Grant. I thought it did too, but that's what they called. They called it over and back. And I think that's what Al Skinner is trying to get across. Well, he's going to lose that argument, yes, of course. No, the ball very clearly. The ball went off. That's a good call by the official. The ball went off the foot of Dudley, and he knew it, which is why he was so went so slowly trying to pick up the ball. 
Simmons from Supply, North Carolina. Which, as you can imagine, is not the biggest town in North Carolina. <laughs> there are no international flights out of Supply. <laughs> Working again on Johnny, and that's a travel. Well, I think part of the problem for Grant right there, if he catches the ball against Dudley one-on-one -on, -one on the inside and nobody comes to help, then that's a good play. But when Grant has to go so far to get into that position, then I think it's advantage Dudley. You can see, though, still neither team in double figures and turnovers yet. Tyrese Rice has just checked in the game, taking the place of Hinnett. With Dudley and Smith and Marshall and Williams. That is the Eagle Five. Left him off defending. Betterman is in there. Simmons and Grant and Bethel. That is the Wolfpack Five. That is a Rice Three. And a rebound inside by Marshall. And he's fouled as he goes up inside by North Carolina State. Would it surprise you if I told you that North Carolina State is plus five in second chance points this afternoon? Well, it would surprise me if you told me that, Kevin. And since you did tell me that, I'll assume that you're not making it up. Not to you, I wouldn't. <laughs> but for a team that doesn't rebound, a team that is not big in second-chance points against a team which is. That's significant. Marshall at the line. With NCAA March Madness on demand, you can watch live tournament games outside of your viewing area for free. Seats will be limited, so sign up for your free VIP pass now at ncaasports.com slash MMOD. North Carolina State has taken five more free throw attempts than Boston College. Just crossing the halfway point of the second half and a great feed. Eftemoff inside and Sewer. And that is the first basket of the game from Matt Sewer. Another nice pass from Eftemoff. And North Carolina State, you know, we talked about how they had to tighten up defensively, and they did, Kevin, but then they did not take advantage by scoring on the other end. They got to cash in. Look at Smith. And that time he's called. Well, that's a tough matchup for Smith away from the basket. If Smith can get himself down on the block, blocks against Eftemoff, then it's advantage Smith. But if Smith has to drive the ball to the basket, Eftemoff, even with that ligament problem, a little quicker and gets in position to take the charge. North Carolina State, we have the number three team in points scored in the ACC, the second best shooting team, the number one three-point shooting team in the Atlantic Coast Conference. The gaudy offensive numbers. But today, 45%. Price is on Simmons. That's the mix-up. And now they've got Dudley working on Benjamin. And they go inside to Simmons, who shoots over Smith and a foul. And that is the second on Craig Smith. What a great entry pass by Eftimoff. Makes the, gets the fake and then creates some space for himself. Watch how much space he creates by getting Williams off his feet, and then Smith moves underneath. That is a tough shot. That little jump hook from that mid-range distance is an awfully difficult offensive maneuver. Simmons is some kind of kid. Well, we told you before from Supply, North Carolina, learned to play basketball on a half-dirt, half-paved court. And he used to be co. He didn't have an official coach, and he used to watch TV, and that's where he said he learned his moves, learned how to shoot, learned how to rebound, learned the basics of the game watching ACC games on TV. Well, when you play with a dirt court and just one basket, you know, what you learn to do is you learn to dunk and block shots, and he came to North Carolina State with those skills, but he has greatly expanded his repertoire since he's been here. So this was a 14 parade All-America. Here comes Smith. Look at him. Fly down the baseline and rock it. And give Boston College a lead of four. Well, that time Eftemoff was cheating away from Smith, trying to help out. And Smith, what great speed off the dribble, did not give Eftemoff a chance to get in position. There's a nice screen by Matt Sewer and a three by Eftemoff. A three-point shot brings North Carolina State to within one. And Eftemoff is knocked down four threes this afternoon. And to man defense. Williams to Dudley, guarded by Grant, helped by Eftemoff. 
and put in by Smith, who was uncovered on the weak side. Well, Dudley just kept maneuvering on the inside there, and finally Cedric Simmons had to come to help, and he forced a missed shot, but nobody was available to block out Smith. Boston College has done a great job in this second half answering North Carolina State runs. That's a Marshall foul for Boston College. Smith is a tough guy to stop, especially on this one right here. Time out. Time has come to Don't hold back Cause there's a party over here So you might as well be here with the people care Don't hold back Chevy, 9 out of 10 cars we sell Get an EPA estimated 30 highway miles per gallon or better Find out more Go to Edmunds.com and click head to head Chevy, an American revolution Your world is like nobody else's, filled with people, places, and passions unique to you. SBC and AT&T have joined forces to create the most complete and secure network on Earth to bring your world to life like never before. Introducing the new AT&T. Your world delivered. Chevy Cobalt has more standard horsepower than Toyota Corolla. And Cobalt now starts over $1,500 less than Corolla CE. Chevy, America's number one brand, America's number one value. Serious hostage situation unfolding. <gasps> the unit works undercover around the world. We are going to take down this plane. Even our wives can never know the truth about our missions. Everyone thinks it's the others. Good! The Unit, coming to CBS March 7th after NCIS. CBS Sports College Basketball Coverage is sponsored by Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. The new AT&T, your world delivered. And by Chevrolet, an American revolution. Selection Sunday is 15 days away and around the country. Some notes. There's UConn holding on. And Tennessee and LSU clinch division title. George Mason in the top 25. First time in school history. And in the ACC, here are some teams fighting to get in. Maryland, Florida State at 17 and 7. Miami at 15 and 12. And those RPIs, not good for any of the teams. The record against the top 50, not good. And one of the things that you have is Maryland, Florida State, Miami, and Virginia. They'll all be playing one another down the stretch. So there's a very real possibility that they'll knock one another out. And the ACC will only have four teams in the tournament. Here's Gavin well, Grant at the free throw line. It's a very good free throw shooting team, North Carolina State in particular, over the last four games coming into this afternoon, 83%, and today they are seven of nine. One of the things that Boston College has done against North Carolina State is played pretty good defense while keeping them off the line. Just neither team really able to get to any sort of a, a lead that they can really build on. North Carolina State drops back into a zone defense here. You like that? Why? Right, it forces Boston College to do something different than they've done the entire game. Got to watch Rice in this situation with his ability to shoot the three. But that Tomah closes in right there. And Bethel closed in on Marshall. And it was kicked. It'll still be Boston College's ball. We're inside the seven-year-old RBC Center in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the Eagles will have another seven seconds. The shot clock was down to eight, but this year with a kick ball, the shot clock resets to 15, not all the way to 35. Now, North Carolina State gets out of the zone, goes back to the man-to-man. -man. And Rice changes the play. The freshman. Another runner, he's been successful at that. Nice rebound by Tony Bethel. 
of Tamar. Grant looking for Simmons. He's covered by Sean Williams, and Simmons has it. And Williams right on his tail. Nice feed inside to Tamar. Simmons with the spectacular assist, and North Carolina State has their first lead in this second half. filament inside a glass vacuum and ran a current through it. That works. What if you put a bunch of actual rocket scientists in a room and told them, shoot for the moon? That works. What if you created a lens so small you could place it in your eye to improve your vision? That works. Suppose we created a local to global IP network so seamless and transparent you could quickly see how to better manage opportunities and prevent threats. Suppose you had the latest wireless technology. Suppose it all came with people. People who understand that capability goes hand in hand with accountability. Verizon has joined with MCI to form Verizon Business to make your business more successful and your life a little easier. That works. Introducing Verizon Business. Meet the all-new 2007 Chevy Suburban. With a rear-view camera system. Power remote lift gate. Head curtain side airbags in all three rows. And power release fold and tumble second row seats. Every big family is going to want one. The all-new Chevy Suburban. Hi! Oh, you got a cold! You got to take NyQuil. It'll relieve your symptoms and you'll sleep great. I will. So you'll sleep like a baby or a lamb. You'll sleep like a little kitty cat. Like a log. You'll sleep like a log. Yeah, you'll sleep like a... Um... Like I would if I didn't have a roommate. NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, best sleep you ever got with a cold medicine. We've had a combined 16 threes in this game, but moments ago it was a slam that got things really revved up inside. But look right here at this area. There's no defenders there, so when the pass comes inside here to Eftimov coming this way, it is a very easy basket. Eftimov coming to the basket from the right of your screen. Easy bucket. Simmons, who followed well, and with their first lead in the second half, 14th-ranked North Carolina State, leading 13th-ranked Boston College by three. And we've seen Eftimoff do a little bit of everything today. Eftimoff has hit a couple of three-point baskets. We've seen him with some nice assists. He just made that basket, and that Simmons dunk came after an Eftimoff steal. And it is the point. Marshall's got the ball. Williams in, Dudley in, and Smith in. That's the Boston College five. And North Carolina State trying to exert some pressure in this zone defense. I like the way they buried their defense in the second half. One risk you take is you let a guy wide open for a three. Marshall for three. And picked up inside by Simmons, who has come up big. Simmons has nine points and six rebounds. Well, a very nice job by North Carolina State defensively. They created a scramble situation for Boston College. The Eagles never really got into any offensive rhythm. That one, Grant. That's Sewer, Simmons, and Eftimoff for the five for North Carolina State. Boy, Eftimoff asking for the ball inside. Grant. Tough shot. It's an eight to nothing North Carolina State run. It's Smith to Williams and a North Carolina State foul. 
Five points equals North Carolina State's biggest lead this afternoon. Now Skinner has to be a little bit happier with that offensive set by Boston College. They did a much better job moving the ball against the zone. Another great pass by Smith. Well, we've got a couple of teams trying to survive in the ACC. And Thursday on CBS's Survivor, one tribe could lose everything in a castaway request. Solitary confinement. Catch it all new. Survivor Exile Island. Thursday on CBS, America's number one network. Now, fortunately for these guys, nobody's going to lose everything. You might lose some position in the conference race. Now, Boston College, which has led throughout most of the second half, now they're looking to dig in on defense. It's Simmons again, and could not reel in the pass. That was nice defense inside by Williams. He put a body on Simmons and made it difficult for Simmons to reach out and get the ball. Very few turnovers in this game, but that was a big one right there. In the first meeting between these teams back in January, North Carolina State won at Boston College and Chestnut Hill by 18. It was North Carolina State's largest margin of victory against a ranked team on the road in over 50 years. Well, we're having a contact lens problem right there. Williams will have to take a seat. Nikita McLean will come in now. Or no, he's going to sit down, and they're going to go back to Tyrese Rice. And that's one of those situations. If Williams could have gotten that contact lens back in right away, then they'd, they'd let him come back in the game, even with a short stoppage. But now against that 1-3-1 one, one zone, this is a good substitution. Tyrese Rice gives you another three-point shooter. You've got Hinnett, Marshall, and Rice all in the game at the same time. Grant. That is a Boston College foul inside. And that is a great, great job of blocking out by Eftimoff. He had Marshall on his back, and then he got his arm tangled up with Marshall, but Eftimoff was able to claim the rebound anyway. This guy has really had a heck of a second half. Right here, watch Eftimoff. He's got him blocked out, and now as the ball comes down, you see Marshall has Eftimoff by the left arm. The referee catches him. Remember, he had the foot injury against Florida State last week. Ligament damage in his left foot. He's got the special shoe he's wearing today with the protection. He's knocked down four threes. He started this afternoon. He's been terrific. That is his first free throw attempt that hits it in. You know, one of the best notes that I've seen from a school all year long is the fact that that injury called the LaFranc ligament is named after some guy named Jock LaFranc, who was a surgeon in Napoleon's Army. And I've been around basketball for a long time. I never heard, and in that whole story, the only word I was familiar with was Napoleon. I never heard of the LaFranc ligament. And of course, it appears a dividend in there because Etzebaugh lived most of his life in France before coming to the U.S. I bet you he didn't know Napoleon, though. See, and that is a great job by Boston College at that point in the game, down six points to go to their bread-and-butter guy. He's a guy that has not made a lot of noise offensively, but you get in the ball, let him operate in there. Well, Tamab was looking for Ed Sewer, and now he's got Simmons on top. Ed Sewer. And a rebound inside by Craig Smith. He's got seven today. Boy, that's sure with only one field goal in the game so far today. Had a wide open look that time. Here's Hennett who began the second half with two consecutive threes. Marshall leads all Boston College scores with 16. This is Dudley against Grant. Knocked away by Grant. And loose on the floor and picked up by Bethel. And he stepped out of bounds. His foot went out of bounds. The game is at that kind of intensity. And power inside. Time out. Wherever your business takes you, count on more bars in more places.
that's the goal of the largest digital voice and data network in America. Sweet Melissa. Singulars all over network. Singular, raising the bar. Your life will change. Families will grow. A gifted child will need an exceptional education. Four friends will become four tycoons. Widows will go on. Partnerships will be offered. Leaps of faith will be taken. Fears will be overcome. The unobtainable will be found and roles will be reversed. At moments like these, you need powerful resources, both financial and personal. A partner who knows you and what matters to you. At Merrill Lynch, our financial advisors know that in a world full of change, there is something beyond just achieving wealth. It is achieving life. Total living, total Merrill. Life doesn't stand still. That's why Lowe's has showroom quality kitchens at prices that fit your budget and the largest selection of appliances in stock. Best of all, Lowe's installation program includes project management teams that take you from start to finish for worry-free on-time installation, all at a price you can afford. At Lowe's, improving home improvement never ends. Now get a free sink-based cabinet when you buy nine or more special order kitchen cabinets. Plenty of time and plenty of timeouts remaining for both North Carolina State and Boston College. We've got 317 to play in regular. And with every possession so important, watch the foot here of Tony Bethel. The question is, is his foot out of bounds while he still has the ball? Boy, that is a very, very close call there. If he's got the ball when his foot is on the line, then he loses possession. That's what the referees ruled. That was a very, very close play, but great hustle by both teams, something that you would expect in a game that has been this intense, particularly this deep in an ACC schedule. Austin College is shooting 49% from the field. They were up over 60 early in the second half. They've hurt themselves at the free throw line, only 61%. It's Marshall for three. Oh, what a hit by Sean Marshall. And He's got a game high, 19 points. And that's the way he started the game in Boston College. If they can get Smith working on the inside to go along with those threes, that's going to keep the pressure on North Carolina State. Up to Moff and Ed Sewell. Bethel, Brant, and Simmons. North Carolina's five on the floor. Now the shot clock is at eight. We have not seen this much today where they've gotten in single digits on the shot clock. The try by Bethel, doubled inside. Smith grabs the ball. That was not the best selection. No, it was not, but that's what you're forced into when the shot clock runs down, and Williams did a great job coming over. He may have gotten a piece of that one. That's good defense by Boston College. It's Smith guarded by the sophomore. Simmons, what a spin move. Counted for two and a foul. And Boston College is on a 7 to nothing run. Smith is a guy with really good quickness. And you see against Simmons, this is advantage Smith because he can use that quickness. What a great step through there on the spin before Grant was able to come and help. Remember we said early in the game that Smith was suffering. He didn't feel really well today as Bennerman comes back in the game. Smith has made the last four shots for Boston College. He is the third all-time leading scorer, the third all-time leading rebounder. And he has been terrific this afternoon. Much more so in the second half than the first. Simmons, by the way, four fouls for North Carolina State. Can't complete the three-point play, but his basket gave Boston College the one-point lead. With the ball and down by one, North Carolina State at home. Well, I, uh, I can't tell. Come on! 
Coca-Cola Zero. Try it to believe it. When work hurts, you need relief that fits the pain. The Icy Hot Sleeve, joint hugging relief that starts icy to dull the pain, then gets hot to relax it away. The Icy Hot Sleeve. Hard work and relief that fits the pain. As we check the CBS Sportsline stand of the game, we remind you to get complete statistics at cbssportsline.com. It is a one-point lead for Boston College, 66 to 65. And under two to play in regulation. Herb Sendek didn't like that last offensive set, called a timeout to make sure his guys were well organized about what they were going to do. Oh, rejected by Williams, his fifth block shot, make it six on the afternoon by Sean Williams. Boy, he has really been a huge factor defensively. And Sewer with the drive and the lead. Oh my, what a shot by Atsur! And he got that one past the shot blocker. Six lead changes and seven ties in our game. North Carolina State back to that zone. Oh boy, they just missed Smith all alone inside. And Simmons is on Smith. Dudley for three in the lead. Rebound offensively for Dudley and Boston College. Boy, you've got to block out the shooter in that situation. Eftemoff went for the block. Nobody else was available. Dudley to Smith for the lead. And a whistle and a foul. It's inside on North Carolina State. All goes on Bethel for the first time. And Engin Atzer, who has been so quiet in this game, a big basket the last time down the court for North Carolina State with a tremendous drive to the basket. And, you know, isn't it amazing at the end of close games, the ball finds its way into the hands of your All-Americans. At the time. Where we talked about Boston College struggling from the free throw line. Smith only one of four. Boston College as a team under 60% in the game. The leading score in the Atlanta Coast Conference, Kurt Smith from Los Angeles. Kevin, there's 46 seconds left in the game, about a 13.7 second differential between shot clock and game clock. Chevrolet players of the game. Sean Marshall with the game high 19 for Boston College. Ilian Eftimov for North Carolina State. Recognition of the determination and outstanding play. Chevy makes a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. There you see our reset with just under 46 seconds left in regulation. And interestingly enough, there's 32 seconds left on the shot clock. So Boston College, even if North Carolina State runs the clock down completely, shoots and scores, Boston College is still going to have plenty of time. North Carolina State has had many close games this season. Well, they've already won two games this year in double overtime. This is Tony Bethel, Bennerman. Well, the issue here for North Carolina State is if they run the clock all the way down and miss, then Boston College is going to have the opportunity to get the last shot. And Sewer for the lead, a three, and picked up by North Carolina State. Well, now they can hold for the last shot, and Herb Sendek calls a timeout. A team that doesn't rebound all that well comes up with maybe the biggest rebound of the season. It's the time of the season when love runs high. 
<laughs> Moving your 401ks to Fidelity is groovy. Our retirement specialists make it so easy, they'll even do most of the paperwork. You dig? Call 1-800-FIDELITY. Smart move. I had a really good time tonight. Me, me too. <laughs> Smell great longer, stay out later with Red Zone After Hours Body Spray. Have a nice day, ladies. Good morning, Mr. Fisher. Good morning, Mr. Ryan. Good morning, Miss Keaton. Good night, Mr. Morgan. Smell great longer, stay out later with Red Zone After Hours Body Spray. When leading with about four to five minutes left in a game, North Carolina State this season 19 and 0, and they led with 4:22 to go this afternoon, 65 to 59, their biggest lead of the day. Shot clock is off, so North Carolina State ideally would like to go for the last shot of the game. Boston College trying to set their defense. I think the guy you want to pay the most attention to in this situation is Cameron Benerman. He has made big clutch shots for North Carolina State. And that's who's got it right now. It's Simmons. Betterman, good if it goes. We've got overtime. Boy, good defense by Boston College. North Carolina State never really got an opportunity to set anything. We've had eight ties and six lead changes. No lead bigger than six in OT and rally. I'm just getting some air. Bye. The newest phone with iTunes, even thinner than the Razer, the ultra sleek sliver at a great price. Only from Singular, raising the bar. It's unlikely your uniform will ever be retired, but maybe it should be. TIAA Cref. Serving the retirement needs of those in the academic, medical, cultural, and research fields. Visit us online to find out how we can serve you. TIA CREF. Financial services for the greater good. We're in overtime because Boston College did a great job defending this blast play. Cameron Bennerman gives it to Cedric Simmons, and then Dudley does a great job keeping uh, Bennerman from getting the ball back. That was just a wild shot, had no chance to go in, but Bennerman gave up the ball, was then trying to come and get it back, but Dudley, a tremendous defensive job, and Simmons really didn't make a good handoff, but you've got to give BC credit for some outstanding defense, Kevin. North Carolina State has played two overtime games this season, Win of both at Clemson and at Miami. And for Boston College, this is their first overtime game this season. You know, and interestingly enough, Kevin, both of these teams coming off losses during the week when they really got hammered. North Carolina State here at home by North Carolina. Boston College uh, on the road at Virginia. And each team has come out here, I think, played with great intensity. It has been a well-played basketball game. And now, now foul problems become important. Keep in mind that Simmons has four fouls for North Carolina State, and he has been such a factor in the second half. Well, the worst loss in the ACC at home since 1994 is what North Carolina State had to absorb. So they come into this against a very tough team in Boston College, which began the conference season at 0-3 continuing to dig themselves out. They've gone 8 for 10 since that horrible start in conference play. Simmons will jump against Sean Williams. And one of the things that North Carolina State has to do is get Cameron Benerman going here in the second half. He has not scored in the second half. And 
remember Craig Smith, we talked about him maybe feeling a little bit under the weather before the game. How's he going to adjust to this overtime? He has played a lot of minutes so far today in what has been a very intense game. Man-to-man -man for BC. Well, they called an offensive foul on Eftimoff for the hook. Eftimoff picks up his second personal foul. Throws that arm around there. That's right in front of the referee. That's an automatic call. And Eftimoff really didn't have to do that. He was by Smith. One of the few mistakes we've seen Eftimoff make in this game. Boston College now going to attack that NC State zone again. Jared Dudley in it. Partial for three. Rebound by Smith inside. When nobody there for North Carolina State on that rebound on the opposite side of the court. When you shoot a long shot, lots of times the ball is going to go over the basket on the rebound. Nobody in white there. Smith has a double-double. On the drive by Bennerman. And a Boston now, when people foul. talk about weak side rebounding, they're talking about that side of the court, opposite where the ball goes, and just nobody there. Well, I guess Atsur was there, but when Atsur's battling against Craig Smith on the inside, Smith is going to win that battle every time. Smith has his ninth double-double this season, his 38th in his Boston College career. <laughs> Bennerman puts it up. You know, late in the first half, Bennerman... Had that play where he got knocked down and looked like his, you know, he get, did a split, and uh, he really hasn't been the same since that time. And an offensive rebound, they left him off, and at Sewer for three in the lead. That's one of those killer baskets, and now Bennerman is grabbing his hamstring. Bennerman is hurt. Marshall, an uncovered three. Rebound, Smith again. Boy, and Smith is battling against Atsur down on the inside, and Atsur now talking to the official. And there's no way that Atsur can win that battle in there. That's the risk that you take playing that particular defense. You get a little guy rebounding, trying to rebound down inside, and Marshall missing those threes. That's almost like a pass to Smith if he's fighting that sir on the inside. Betterman is out. Gavin Grant is coming the game. And he gets the ball, double teamed and all inside. Against Dudley, and outside to Eftemar. Against Smith. Bethel for three. Rebound by Dudley. Rebounding advantage now, plus six for Boston College. Boston College has done a really nice job at the end of the game and so far here in the overtime. At the end of the shot clock, when NC State is dribbling the ball, is really covering up those dribble, dribblers, not letting them get any penetration. And with the ball, Smith has scored the last seven points for Boston College. Oh, what a rebound by Simmons. Boston College, a couple of cracks at it, but Simmons just swooped in there and grabbed it. This is a pretty good game, huh? I'd say so. Left to Moff, gets by Smith. Outside Grant for three. And picked up by Dudley. Boy, that ball was down and out. Dudley becomes the second player on Boston College to get a double-double this afternoon. He's got 12 and 10. Smith has 18 points and 11 rebounds. Boy, look at Smith. He looks like he's exhausted out there. We talked about the flu he's been battling. Here's Marshall again. With the shot clock down to seven. Smith for two, and he has no legs. There's an air ball. I think it really hurts NC State to not have Bennerman available. Eftimoff for three. Oh, that's, that was not a good shot. Way, way outside. Dudley has corralled the last three defensive rebounds. Timeout taken by Boston College. 
And the riding's Craig Smith. And he's exhausted right now. We're tied at 71. Apparently, somebody was up late last night. Make that somebody's. And that's okay. Because if you work hard, you play hard. Just don't look in the mirror. Unless you're using Nivea for Men Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Q10 restores your skin, leaving it healthy and fit. Well, that takes care of your face, but don't forget about your eyes. Reduce puffiness and lose the dark circles with Revitalizing Eye Cream Q10. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. Life doesn't stand still. That's why Lowe's has showroom quality kitchens at prices that fit your budget and the largest selection of appliances in stock. Best of all, Lowe's installation program includes project management teams that take you from start to finish for worry-free on-time installation, all at a price you can afford. At Lowe's, improving home improvement never ends. Now get a free sink-based cabinet when you buy nine or more special order kitchen cabinets. At the end of regulation, we were tied at 67. A one-time late in the second half. North Carolina State led at 65-59. Boston College, Dan Bonner kept chipping away. They tied it, and now it's tied again at 71 with 110 to play in overtime. Boston College did a nice job at the end of regulation, and they've continued to do it here in the overtime, doing things that have allowed the ball to wind up in the hands of Craig Smith. And a couple of times here in the overtime, it's been a jump shot that has been missed, but Smith has gotten great position on the inside for rebounds. For North Carolina State, all four of their shots in overtime have been for three. But that last shot by Eftimov, and Eftimov has played very, very well today. That almost looked like sort of a second thought kind of thing. Nothing was happening offensively. He was way beyond the three-point arc. And now North Carolina State has to dig in defensively. Cameron Benjamin is out. He was the leading scorer for North Carolina State. You think it's a hamstring. That's what he was holding. He is out now. So it's Grant, Eptimov, Simmons, and Sewer, and Tony Beckel for North Carolina State. Hit it with the ball, and here's Dudley. Yeah, but here's that zone again, and there's that Sewer up, up against Smith on the inside. Marshall with it. That's Williams here. in the middle, and Craig Smith is down low. That is Boston College, and they're five, sir. And kick the, in the shot clock at 15. Shot clock will reset 12. to 15. Well, is that 12, but anytime if it's kicked under 15, it right. resets to 15. So now this is interesting. If this shot clock runs all the way down, North Carolina State will be in a position, if the score remains tied, where they can pretty much hold it for the last shot. A great hustle! What a great job! Five seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Timeout, North Carolina State with the ball. And a half minute to play in overtime. With defense and hustle by Ed Sewer. Introducing the all-new 2007 Chevy Tahoe. With available features like a power remote lift gate. Power release fold and tumble second row seats. And rear view camera system. Chevy Tahoe, an American revolution. As you take a look at our game reset, North Carolina State has the ball 34.5 and 30 seconds on the shot clock. Betterman is out. So who takes the shot? Betterman is oh, back Betterman in. just came back in the game. He, he's hobbling back out onto the floor. Well, now, the interesting thing here is if you're North Carolina State, do you try to run the shot clock down or do you get the first good shot that you can find and then put the pressure on Boston College? Again, a difference of five seconds, game clock and shot clock. Simmons and Bethel. And 
Biffle, and Jamal. Biffle for the lead block. A seventh block shot by Sean Williams. Seven rejections today by the sophomore from Houston. He has been spectacular. And Boston College gets it back when we come back. Apparently, somebody was up late last night. Make that somebody's. And that's okay. Because if you work hard, you play hard. Just don't look in the mirror. Unless you're using Nivea for Men Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Q10 restores your skin, leaving it healthy and fit. Well, that takes care of your face. But don't forget about your eyes. Reduce puffiness and lose the dark circles with Revitalizing Eye Cream Q10. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. The game is tied, and Eftimoff passes up the shot. Look at the shot clock at the top of your screen. Nothing Bethel can do. Williams is running at him, and he simply doesn't have time to fake and go around Williams. Excellent defense by Boston College. Eftimoff that time maybe passed up a shot that he should have taken. Plenty of time for Boston College to get down the court and get a good shot. And if you're North Carolina State and you force Boston College to miss, you have to block out. The Eagles, particularly here in the overtime, have done a great job rebounding the ball and scoring from that a second chance situation. Bruce Smith. We've got double overtime. Boy, that is not the guy you want shooting a three-point shot. Well, that's out of a timeout. The play should have been better executed. <laughs> Tied at 71 with our second overtime on deck. When you get a cold, you can't always slow down, but you can feel better, faster, with NyQuil each night and DayQuil each day. Together, they'll give you the relief you need to keep going. So leave the coughing, aching, and fever behind with NyQuil each night and DayQuil each day. Feel better, faster. How's the business? We've got new cars for our execs. What do you got? We've got a secure network. We don't have to commute. Check. Company barbecues? Secure network. We co-mingle 24-7. Yoga. Stress reduction. Secure network. No stress. Check. Espresso bar. Check. Confidence, powered by Cisco. Tonight on CBS, it's a night of drama and mystery, beginning with numbers, followed by cold case in a 48 hours mystery. That's tonight on CBS with Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan, and Raleigh, North Carolina. Upcoming ACC tournament taking shape. The top four seeds getting a first round bye, so this game with important implications for seeding in the tournament. One week remains in the ACC regular season. These two teams are so close. Second place, North Carolina State. Fourth place, Boston College. And not much separates the two. Both these teams will be headed to the round of 64 in the NCAA tournament. And North Carolina State, you mentioned in second place, but only a half game ahead of the University of North Carolina. And were North Carolina and North Carolina State to finish tied, North Carolina would certainly have the tiebreaker. Again, the top four seeds in the ACC tournament receive a bye. Both teams are coming off tough losses. And Kevin, there was not very much offense in that first overtime. The game was tied at 67 at the end of regulation. The North Carolina State, their third double overtime game of the season. And it appears that Cameron Benerman is going to try to go. You mentioned, and correctly, that he looks to me like he's hobbling. And the shooting by both teams has really fallen off. It was near 50%, a good deal of the game, but Boston College has gone two of their last nine. North Carolina State has gone two of their last ten. And here we go with the second overtime. And Boston College in the man-to-man -man defense. Keep in mind, again, Cedric Simmons played that entire first overtime with those four personal fouls. That still might be a factor.
Eptimov lasers it inside, looking for Ansu and out of bounds. Shot clock at nine. And I think that was Sean Williams that got his hands on that ball. He's been he done such a great job blocking shots. You mentioned seven, and I think he just stuck his big paw up there and knocked that one away. Eptimov has a block shot number eight, which ties a career high in a two-on-one. Marshall and Williams the other way. Count it and a foul on the play. And Sewer picks it up. Boston College by two, all triggered by the eighth rejection this afternoon of sophomore Sean Williams. And this is really a tough situation for Atsur. You either have to let that guy go or foul him so hard that he doesn't make the basket. Marshall's been very good from the free throw line today. And he's got a game high 20 points. Now North Carolina State has to climb back in. You know, North Carolina State has really been listless on offense here the last couple of possessions. You know, this is a Boston College team, particularly with that shot blocker. It's very difficult to run the shot clock down and then get a shot because he's coming flying at you to block it. Good screen by Simmons. And Betterman couldn't hit it, but another offensive rebound for North Carolina State. You have to wonder just how much strength Betterman really has in those legs. Oh, Williams got his hand on that one, too. Another deflection. One of the great single defensive performances we have seen this season in college basketball. He's also collected five rebounds, eight blocks, three deflections. And he's got seven points. Uh, North Carolina State back into the man-to-man. -man. Oh, nice hustle by Atsua. Bad numbers. And Betterman tries to sneak it inside to the double-team Simmons. But there's no breathing space inside. And it's a foul. It's on Craig Smith. This is a great job by Boston College to attack Simmons inside. Atsur is all, and that's a bad pass by Bennerman. He's got two guys right with him, and they, Boston College picks up the foul. That's really a break for North Carolina State. They just, Bennerman threw that ball into trouble. That was a tough spot to play Cedric Simmons. Three of four from the line for Simmons. Boy, what a luxury it is to have a good free throw shooting big man. On well, this day and age in college basketball, it's a luxury to have a good throw, free throw shooting any man. <laughs> Only made one of two. Rebound goes to Boston College with the two-point lead and approaching three to play in our second overtime. At the end of regulation, tied at 67. At the end of the first overtime, tied at 71. And now North Carolina State drops back into that zone defense. Dudley on Atsua. Atsur's reaching around trying to get steal. Deadly for three. And Williams gets the ball. He was fouled on the play by Eftimov. So Williams gathers in his sixth rebound. Eftimov picks up the foul. That is the third on him. That was just a situation where Eftimov tried to dribble that ball to control it rather than grabbing it, and that gave Williams an opportunity to come from behind, and the fans don't like the call, but Eftimov did grab it. On the free throw line, Williams is seven to make it five of eight. Now, five of nine. Now, this is a situation where if you're North Carolina State, you must block out. with the tap and controlled by Hennett who gets it off to Smith and a big play for Boston College. Well, that ball was a very long miss and Boston College a great job to tip it out. Another opportunity. And Smith inside once, twice. Johnny falls and picked up by Williams and out of bounds and Smith is down and North Carolina State will have the ball. Boy, what a scrap underneath the basket. Smith just so powerful in there. Now it looks like he may be suffering from a leg cramp. Smith gets this ball inside, powers it up, gets it again. Now he just loses the ball in there. 
But boy, isn't he a tough guy? Now he's up and going again. North Carolina State, you can see, really struggling with their shooting. Well, we told you before the game, and right on the first half as they go That's inside for Simmons. Pass. And a bad one at that by Eftimoff, but this is a perimeter North Carolina State team with a Boston College offense that likes to work inside the lane and off the block. It's the North Carolina State team that doesn't really force many turnovers. They don't do a lot of rebounding the ball offensively. They have to shoot it well, and for most of this game they did, but they really look like they're dragging out there. And of course you would expect that. We're in our second overtime, but this is an important possession for both teams. North Carolina State back in that zone. Marshall's got a career high 22, lost the ball. Here comes North Carolina State, 11 of 33, shooting threes this afternoon. Timeout, Wolfpack will return to the RBC Center for the Boston College North Carolina State game in just a moment. Cholesterol comes from two sources. It's not only from that buttered crab, but from Krabby Aunt Betty. And not just from that ice cream pop, but from mom and pop as well. Your cholesterol doesn't just come from food. It also has a lot to do with family history. Ask your doctor about Vitorin. A healthy diet is important, but when it's not enough, adding Vitorin can help. Vitorin treats the two sources of cholesterol, food, and what your body makes naturally based on family history. Vitorin was proven in clinical studies to lower bad cholesterol more than Lipitor alone. Vitorin is not for everyone, including people with liver problems, women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Unexplained muscle pain or weakness could be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Vitorin may interact with other medicines or certain foods, increasing your risk of getting the serious side effect. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Follow a healthy diet and ask your doctor about adding Vitorin. For the two sources of cholesterol, remember the name Vitorin. That's Vitorin. Greg Gumbel in New York. Here's how it wound down in Baton Rouge today. Kentucky down to LSU by two. Sharif Thomas too strong. Glenn Davis iced it with free throws. The Wildcats miss a golden opportunity to make some hay. They fall by four. Kevin and Dan, back to you. Greg, thank you very much. Our game here in Raleigh, North Carolina has consisted of nine ties, nine lead changes, no lead bigger than six. And the score at the end of regulation, 67. At the end of our first overtime, 71. Now with a minute 26 to play in our second overtime, Boston College by two. And while the foul situation has not been really detrimental to either team yet, Simmons has played the whole first overtime and this entire second overtime was four fouls. What we have seen, Kevin, particularly from North Carolina State, this is a team that usually does a great job penetrating to the basket, kicking it back outside for three-point shots. They have not been able to do that. North Carolina State has remained almost entirely on the perimeter. We have not seen that dribble penetration. And one thing I think Herb Sendek may be talking about in that huddle over there is that his team has to take the ball, look crisper on offense, particularly they've got to take the ball to the basket. It's an offense that appears over, particularly in the second overtime, to have been doing a lot of standing around, and that's not where North Carolina State is the most effective. Well, let's give some credit to Boston College's defense, too. Absolutely. Boston College has, the, that was their game plan coming in to try, try to prevent that dribble penetration and kick out, and while they have not been successful throughout the game, they have certainly been successful here down the stretch. Once again, go up high to Cedric Simmons. And Sewell picked up by Marshall. And now Simmons and Sean Williams is on him. Eftimoff for three. And a rebound by Smith. That was a huge North Carolina State miss. And it came right out of the break. Right, and he had the great look. That time they didn't get dribble penetration, but they got penetration with the pass. The double team came. Eftimoff wide open. We've seen him make three or four of those today. He just didn't get that one to go down. Timeout taken. Boston College has two timeouts remaining. North Carolina State has one. Meet the all-new 2007 Chevy Suburban. With a rear-view camera system. 
the power remote lift gate. Head curtain side airbags in all three rows. And power release fold and tumble second row seats. Every big family is going to want one. The all new Chevy Suburban. With Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan, double overtime game between Boston College, the 13th ranked team in America, and North Carolina State at number 14. Boston College has the ball, and they're up by two. 49.3 seconds remaining in the game, 19 seconds left on the shot clock, and I think in this situation, you will see Boston College try to get the ball inside, look for Dudley or Smith to try to handle this ball and create something. Smith, Hennett, Marshall, Smith again. That's deflected, and it's picked off. And Sewer has it. Now, North Carolina State only has one timeout left. The shot clock is off. The Wolf Pack down by two. North Carolina State's had one field goal since the end of regulation. Only one. They are one of nine. So they have been struggling. We'll return to the RBC Center for the Boston College NC State game in just a moment. Monday, when bed bugs attack, you can count on your best friends. He says he's clean. The King of Queens. Then I was not always as awesome as I am today. Will I ever see How I Met Your Mother. Next, a new girlfriend's got Charlie shaping up. Why is there this little voice in my head whispering, "Kill yourself, do it now"? Two and a half men, and Alex fixes up a friend, but for what? Oh my God. I'm not a matchmaker, I'm a pimp. Courting Alex, part of an all-new CBS Monday, and Dave's got Bruce Willis on a new late show. North Carolina State, which is the number one three-point shooting team, the number two shooting team overall in the ACC, has been so cold in these overtimes. They trail by two, they've got the ball. And what, you can, what they cannot do is hold the ball for the last shot. They've had that opportunity both at the end of regulation and in the first overtime. Now they've got to take the first good shot they can get. And again, penetration and kicking it out may be exactly what they're going to try to do. There is no shot clock and only the game clock. Bethel and Sewer. All rejected by Williams. Nine rejected shots today by the sophomore from Houston. And he's just flying at the ball. That's just a great job by Williams to come flying over at that basketball. Still plenty of time for North Carolina State. Maybe not a better individual defensive performance in college basketball this year. And Sewer. And Boston College has won. And Al Skinner has become the all-time winningest coach in Boston College basketball history. For Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan saying so long from Raleigh. Tonight on CBS, numbers followed by Cold Case and a 48 Hours Mystery. We have first-hand knowledge of how dangerous these guys can be. Can I be charged criminally with this?